Welcome back to DSI. Before we get to our number one play, we had a bunch of plays that we just could not fit into our show, but we made an honorable mention list. Coming in at honorable mention number one, Tuesday, February 11th, Smyrna down one against Caesar Rodney. Five seconds left. Olumwala Salako going straight to the cup and burying one. How about that amazing moment there for the Eagles? That ended a five-game winning streak for CR, and that was the Riders' senior night. Incredible victory there <laughs> for the Eagles. Our second honorable mention goes to Sussex Tech. Take a look at their score from their matchup on January 21st against Dover. Lost by 38 at home. No shame because Dover does that to everybody. 20 days later, they paid the Senators a visit and take a look at what the scoreboard showed. Tech won 68 to 57. They snapped a 21 game win streak for the Senators in conference and they became the last team since, well, Sussex Tech two years ago to win at Dover. They are the only team in the state to top the Senators this season. Congratulations to them. Our final honorable mention goes to Woodbridge Wrestling. The Blue Raiders, led by head coach Shane Marvel, finished 11 and five this year, went all the way to the Division II Championship where they fell to Caravelle, but it was the program's first ever championship appearance and maybe the start of something special in Greenwood. And for more on what we have special tonight, we're gonna to toss it over to the wall to Brandon. All right, Trey, it's time for your top five plays of the week brought to you by Delaware Appliance. This week, we're counting down the top five teams in the Henlope in this season. And coming in at number five, the Caesar Rodney Riders boys basketball team. Come on, Marla throwing it down right there. Ooh. CR going 13 and seven, notching two wins in the tournament. And at number four, the Woodbridge girls basketball team, their first championship in the Henlope in this season. Jakiah Johnson, Janira Scott named third team all staters. At number three, the Smyrna Eagles wrestlers wiping the mat with the competition. They score four state individual wrestlers, Gabe Gianpietro and Joey Natarcola, also taking home titles for the Eagles. Number two are the Cape girls, Abby Hearn and Denia Cannon reaching the thousand point club. Both seniors named second team all state and the Vikings finish the year 18 and one against Delaware teams. And of course, at number one, the Dover Senators, they were the clear favorites in Delaware all season long. They come in at number one in our top five. You like that, Trey? I love that. Yeah, I wanted to finish with that dunk right there. <laughs> well, we're going to take one more commercial break. We're getting to our top moment of the winter season. Stay right here. The countdown concludes next here on Delmarva Sports Insider. Hey, my name is Jason Bassworth of Lake Forest, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.